Chapter 42, The Election. As we came into the yard one afternoon, Polly came out. Jerry, I've had Mr. B here asking about your vote, and he wants to hire your cab for the election. He will call for an answer. Well, Polly, you may say that my cab will be otherwise engaged. I should not like to have it pasted over with their great bills. And as to make Jack and Captain race about to the public houses to bring up half-drunken voters, why, I think it will be an insult to the horses. No, I shan't do it. I suppose you'll vote for the gentleman. He said he was for your politics. So he is in some things, but I shall not vote for him, Polly. You know what his trade is. Yes. Well, a man who gets rich by that trade may be all very well in some ways, but he is blind as to what working men want. I could not in my conscience send him up to make the laws. I dare say they'll be angry, but every man must do what he thinks to be the best for his country. On the morning before the election, Jerry was putting me into the shafts when Dolly came into the yard, sobbing and crying with her little blue frock and white pinafore spattered over with mud. Why, Dolly, what is the matter? Those naughty boys, she sobbed, have thrown the dirt all over me and called me a little raga, raga. They called her blue, little blue ragamuffin father, said Harry, who ran in looking very angry but I have given it to them. They won't insult my sister again. I have given them a thrashing they will remember, a set of cowardly, rascally, orange blackguards. Jerry kissed the child and said, run into mother, my pet, and tell her, I think you had better stay at home today and help her. Then turning gravely to Harry, my boy, I hope you will always defend your sister and give anybody who insults her a good thrashing. That is as it should be, but mind, I won't have any election blackguarding on my premises. There are as many blue blackguards as there are orange and as many white as there are purple or any other color. And I won't have any of my family mixed up with it. Even women and children are ready to quarrel for the sake of a color and not one in 10 of them knows what it is about. My father, I thought blue was for liberty. My boy, liberty does not come from colors. They only show party and all the liberty you can get out of them is Liberty to get drunk at other people's expense. Liberty to ride to the pole in a dirty old cab. Liberty to abuse anyone that does not wear your color and to shout yourself poor so what you only half understand. That's your liberty. Oh, Father, you are laughing. No, Harry, I'm serious, and I'm ashamed to see how men go on that ought to know better. An election is a very serious thing. At least it ought to be, and every man ought to vote according to his conscience and let his neighbor do the same.